Good morning and welcome to day one of Powering the Future Week on GSC at Home. I'm Caitlin and today's episode is going to be about energy. We'll have a look at what energy is and how it works, some different types of energy and some energy phrases that you might have heard. Let's get started. Our first question is what is energy? Energy is the stuff that needs to be given to an object in order to make something happen to it, like making it move or heating it up. Let's have a look at some different types of energy. Potential energy is energy that is stored within an object. For example, if I was to lift up an object, this pen here, I give it potential energy because if I was to drop it, that energy is transformed into movement energy. Kinetic energy or movement energy is the other main type of energy along with potential energy. Anything that is moving has kinetic energy. For example, my little orange here, if I was to roll that across the table, that has kinetic energy. There's also heat or thermal energy, which objects have when they are warm. When we eat a hot dinner, the food has thermal energy. Light energy can be seen anytime we see something giving out light. The sun gives out enormous amounts of light energy, but we can also find it in our homes. Like if we were to switch on a light or to light a candle. Sound energy travels in waves through the air, vibrating the particles around it until it reaches our ears so that we can hear it. A crucial thing to know about energy is that it cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred from one type of energy to another. So if you have to think about switching on a light in your house, you might think that the light bulb is generating light energy, but no, actually what's happened is that electrical energy was transferred to the light bulb when you turned it on and that is being transformed into light energy. If you have a look around your home, you'll find lots of different objects and appliances that use different types of energy. There'll be lots outside too. Here you've got lots of energy that you can use to move, play and live out your daily life. But where did you get that energy from and how did it get inside your body? Our bodies get their energy from food. The food that we eat contains chemical energy. Chemical energy is a type of potential energy that exists in the bonds between atoms. When a chemical reaction happens, this chemical energy is used. Our bodies take in food, which has chemical energy. It releases this chemical energy through chemical reactions inside our body, and that energy can be transformed into movement or kinetic energy for our bodies to use. I can show you an energy transformation right here at home. I have here a music box. And I'm going to show you how the energy transformation from my body to the music box allows it to play a song. So my body has chemical energy from food and it's converting it into kinetic energy that I can use in my arms to spin this little handle here. The handle is moving and turning a mechanism inside the box that's converting kinetic energy into sound energy, allowing the song to be played. We use lots of electricity in our daily lives. When we generate electricity, we take one form of energy and transfer it into electrical energy. It's really important to choose the right kind of energy to transform into electrical energy as certain types can have negative effects on the planet. The phrase non-renewable energy can be used when electricity has been generated by burning fossil fuels, transferring their chemical energy into electrical energy. Fossil fuels are found deep underground in the Earth's crust, including the seabed, just like other fossils. What are the three fossil fuels? Coal, oil and natural gas. Coal is a solid fuel that was formed from plants and trees. Oil and gas were formed from marine organisms under the sea. They took many millions of years to form and once they run out, there'll be no more. Another way we can generate electricity is through nuclear power. Nuclear power is another type of non-renewable energy, as it typically uses the element uranium as its fuel, which is found naturally on Earth, but it's finite, so it will run out. When generating electricity through nuclear power, the waste product produced is radioactive and will remain radioactive for thousands of years, which will be harmful to the environment and to humans. However, a small pellet of uranium can generate enough electricity to power one home for up to two years. Burning fossil fuels to release their chemical energy also releases carbon dioxide or CO2 into the atmosphere. The atmosphere is a layer of gases that protects us from the sun's radiation 
keeps us warm and provides us with the oxygen we need to breathe. Due to human actions, there's now too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, causing an average rise in temperature and climate change. CO2 is released when burning anything that contains carbon. All living things, or once living things, including me and you, contain carbon. So what kind of energy is renewable? Wind power from wind turbines, solar power from solar panels or from solar thermal plants, and hydropower from hydroelectric plants are all renewable forms of energy. We will always have the sun, lots of water and plenty of wind that we can generate electricity from. They will never run out and so we call them renewable. So now that we know a bit more about energy, why don't you have a look around your home? See what different types of energy you can spot in objects and appliances. We'd love it if you could send us an example for one of each of all the different types of energy we talked about today. Movement energy, light, sound, thermal, chemical. You can get in touch through social media using the hashtag GSA at home. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of GSA at home and day one of Powering the Future Week. We'll be back again tomorrow morning for some more energy themed videos.